Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be talking about yet again a Fallout 3 character returning for the last DLC of Fallout 4, which is going to be Nuka World. Now, of course, this person I'm talking about is Sierra. If you don't know who she is, she was actually a Nuka Cola fanatic back in Fallout 3 who gave you a pretty awesome side quest in which you had to go and find all of the quantum Nuka Colas. Back then, they were very rare to find in Fallout 3, and there was only actually a handful of them in the game, including the DLC too. But it was a very fun side quest, and I believe. It actually led on to some kind of threesome. I did not remember that at all. I don't know, maybe I just had a really innocent mind back then. So, yeah, I, I guess we need to really play back on Fallout 3 because I would love to have that threesome with her. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on and add fire to my original speculation. So, like I said, you know, Fallout 4, there was a lot of characters who were in the previous game who made it to, you know, the Commonwealth. And it's not unlike Bethesda to add in a little nod or, you know, something like that to the game of the previous game, you know, because it's pretty cool. It's just a nice little thing for fans to see and go, oh, that's pretty cool that they added him in again or her in again, you know. So it's not unlike them to do this kind of stuff. Now, of course, you all probably know by now that Bethesda did a playthrough of Nuka World last night. They actually showed off little tidbits, you know, how you actually get to the park and the Nuka Arcade. But before they showed off the Nuka Arcade, I think they showed off a little too much, which was pretty cool. So, the gameplay that you're seeing right now is from Bethesda's Twitch, and as you can see it up there, Bethesda Twitch works, and they're heading towards the Nuka Arcade, you know, in which you have all the mini-games, and just take a look at this, guys. So, we're walking on, and, uh, you know, we can see this character right there. You can see it's a woman, and look at that right there. Pause. There is the name, Sierra. That is right, Sierra, blonde hair, and it just says, you know, he has to be around here somewhere or something like that. Uh, but, again guys, that is too coincidental for it not to be Sierra Petrovia. It is just, no, no, there is no way that they would have named somebody else Sierra in this DLC. She has the blonde hair, like the one from the Fallout 3. She has the same first name, obviously. And, you know, Nuka World. You know, it's Nuka World. She likes Nuka Cola. So, yeah, immediately as... One of the guys who are playing, I'm, I'm assuming that it's Matt Grandstaff who's playing it, he walks up to go inside the Nuka Arcade, and the other guy who was on the stream with him says this. So all those tokens, just be careful and, yeah, go around there. Yeah, oh, and then we were going to... So yeah, as you can tell, it was quite hesitant, you know, they kind of hesitated a little bit in that last clip, and he says, oh, just, just go around here, and that's when Matt goes, oh... Like, probably, he's probably noticed I've just kind of ruined that just a little bit. I shouldn't have went that way. In which then they pause the game really quickly and then they load up a save to go straight into the Nuka Arcade. So, obviously, you know, they are dodging this woman because they could have just went past her and went into the Nuka Arcade. It's either they're dodging this woman, a certain conversation with her, or either they're dodging a kind of interaction inside the Nuka Arcade once you get inside there, you know. So, we can really presume that this is probably most definitely her, and to be honest, that's not a bad thing. I really enjoyed her in Fallout 3 from what I remember about her, and to be honest, a little quest around finding Nuka Colas or something like that would be really refreshing, it'd be really nice, and plus, you know, as a content creator, that just makes me have another video to give you guys, another guide to give you guys, so, you know, that's always a plus for me anyway, but, um, guys, Tell me, what do you think about this? I am very excited to see this woman return. I would say possibly by now, I have that big feeling in my gut where I know it's here. So I would say yes, it is definitely here returning. And obviously we do have the confirmation. Um, but yeah, tell me guys what you think in the comment section. And um, until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.